guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i thought i would do a day in the life of a uni student with chronic illness so i'm going to be taking you through on my day and what i get up to it's currently 10 a.m so i had a bit of a lie in today because i've had a few really early starts so the first thing i need to do is call my ibd nurse i had a blood test get put through to look for information in my joints because i keep getting really painful fingers and toes sometimes my knees but it's mainly my fingers which could be arthritis it may not be arthritis, it could just be inflammation due to IBD, but there is a chance it could be arthritis, so she just wanted to check just in case. So I've got to call her back for that. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to get some breakfast, and yeah, start with my uni work. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to see any more like this, then please let me know. Alright, so for breakfast, I usually just have two slices of toast. Um, I take my medication in the mornings, so I take three Octasia tablets for the like, modified release tablets. So I take three of those. Um, and then I also take a suppository in the evening and I also take vitamin. I always take vitamin D supplements, but I usually have these with my dinner. So I'm not into those now, but I have my, these tablets and I've had some food. So today I've got a little bit of uni. I've also got work this evening and I need to go and do a food shop. But because of COVID and everything, my university is mainly online. So my lecture today is online, so I'll be doing it from home. Um, I'm a third year psychology student at university. So this is my final year of university. So I think they're a little bit more stressful this year. But yeah, this week, I've got one deadline for my dissertation studies. So for my dissertation, I have to do a study, then I have to write up a report on it. So I've got a deadline to get my ethics form done for that this week. So I'm going to be doing some of that today. I also do volunteering as part of my degree. So I'm currently doing that for Carers UK, so I need to do a couple of hours of volunteering today as well, if I have time, if not, I'll do it tomorrow. And yeah, I have work in the evening. I currently work for a pub, so I do bar work and waitressing. So I've got a shift from that, I think, five till 10, I think, because obviously everything shuts at 10. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go to a food shop. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, take my tablets, get ready for the day, and then I'll be back. So on days that I've uni, I usually write a little to-do list just on a piece of paper of what I have to do today. So I'm going to plan all that out. I've called my IBD nurse and I'm just waiting for a call back. And yeah, I'm going to start doing my to-do list and try and be productive. <laughs> okay, so I just realised that my deadline that I thought was Friday is actually tomorrow at 3.30. So... It's 11.30 now, so I'm going to work on this for a few hours and see how much I can get done before my lecture. Because I've got work at 5pm, I need to be leaving around my house at like half four. So I'm going to be having an early dinner, which I don't really like doing, but obviously I can't eat work. So I'm going to do an early dinner, which means that all my tasks are going to be moved forwards. So yeah, I've already had this assignment checked by my supervisor. I just have to make a few changes that she suggested so it's not loads of work. So I'm going to sit out for a few hours for my lecture. Okay, so that's a little bit later. It's about half two now. I've had a little snacky lunch whilst I was finishing off my uni work for the day and I'm going to get ready and do my makeup for work this evening and then I'm going to do my dinner. I just want to look a little bit more presentable because I look really tired at the moment because I've had quite a long few days. <laughs> For work, obviously, because I work in hospitality and I'm serving drinks and food and stuff, I have to have my hair tied back. But I really don't like tying my hair back because because of all my medications and IBD and symptoms and everything, my hair thinned a lot. I don't think having blonde hair has helped it at all. Um, well, it definitely hasn't helped. Over Christmas, I am letting my hair go back to natural brown. But for now, obviously, it's still really thin. I do use a lot of things on my hair. I use, like, Alpacin shampoo, and I use, like, the oils that are meant to help your hair. But I'm always really self-conscious that it looks like I don't have a lot of hair. Um, especially with, like, around the front of my head. It's thinned out a lot. But, hopefully doesn't look too bad. If anyone has any like tips or tricks for getting your hair to be thicker again after IBD, well not after IBD but obviously after the effects have already happened, 
please let me know. There we go. I am ready for work. Oh well. I realise now that really is not not a good lighting. <laughs> I don't usually wear this much makeup for work, but I've got like a few breakouts, which I mean you, you can still see them there. Um, and I had really bad bags under my eyes, which I've tried to conceal. I've put like three layers of concealer on them, but they're not going. So I'm going to go make some food now whilst I have one more lecture left, but I'm going to do that lecture whilst I cook my food because obviously it's just online. Um, and then I will be on my way, but I will show you what I'm cooking for dinner, but I probably won't show you the lecture bit anyway because it's a little bit boring. <laughs> right, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to do chicken and rice. Usually if I'm having like a bad stomach day or anything, chicken and rice is always a good meal for me. It's a safe meal. Um, I'd usually put like Italian herbs or something on it, but the other day in the supermarket, I found this. It's like a Nando's peri peri rub and it's the chicken medium one. Usually when I go to Nando's, I do have the medium one. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be okay, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. So I've got a chicken breast, which I've cut up. I've got some rice, which I'm going to do. Um, got oil for the pan. So I'm just going to fry the chicken breast, put the Nando's rub on it and then do some rice. And yeah, that's going to be my dinner for tonight. So ready. Usually I'd have a bigger dinner than this, but obviously because it's so early and I will be eating at work, I've just done something light and small. But yeah, this one's really good. Hi. Oh, look, just accidentally indicated. So it's currently quarter past four. I'm just about to leave to go to work. I'm not having the best stomach day today. I've been to the toilet four times when usually at this point of the day I would have gone once. So a little bit nervous about tonight, but got a modium in my bag, so everything should be okay. But yeah, I've also got my uniform with me. I don't wear this to work. <laughs> well, I finish at 10, so I will check in with you guys afterwards. <laughs> Bye. Hello, everyone. Um, so it's many, many hours now. It's quarter past midnight. I've just got home from work. We finished at about half 11, but on the way back, I nipped into Tesco because I don't have any food at the moment. So I grabbed a few bits to have for the rest of the week. I'm very tired. So halfway through my shift, my hip seem to have like gone like i usually get joint pains in my fingers obviously and my feet and my knees and sometimes my hip but not very regularly and um, my hip got so bad to the point that i was limping um so i'm not really sure what's wrong with that it probably is just joint pain but i'm hoping overnight it disappears or at least gets better but yeah i'm very achy and very tired <laughs> and very hungry so i would go inside and make myself a snack and then probably do my suppository, which is a misalazine suppository, and then probably go to bed. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope it maybe gave some sort of insight into my day. I don't know. If you wanted to see a proper video into what I eat in a day and like what I buy in a grocery shop, then please let me know. But yeah, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Good night.